What's up everybody, I'm Nix Herrera, professional body painter, and I'm doing my very first YouTube video and I want to share some stuff with you. Um, today, one of the things I'm going to be working on is I have a show coming up this weekend. I'm doing a body paint and I have a piece where I have to have the model's breast covered. Now, instead of going with the full bra, I decided to use a different product. I'm going to share with you guys some tips and tricks on how to pull off a semi-nude looking piece without having lines that distract from your overall body paint. First off, we're going to start with the product. The product that I found is called Super Light Adhesive Bra. And what it is, it's a silicone bra that actually adheres to the breast. And what this does is it keeps you from having straps that break up your design. Now here's the product right here. You can find it at Target. And uh, it comes in different sizes, size A, B, C, and D. And they run for about $16. And um, Michael's actually has some, or Joann's, and I think they're about... $30, but if you use your coupon, you get about half off and uh, and save some money there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a couple of tips and tricks that I'm going to use to make it so that you get the best effect with it. Now, part of the problem that I've had in the past is that when you paint on a bra, the fabric actually absorbs the paint, so you're not able to get crisp lines, and it has a different overall uh, look when it comes to painting on the skin to paint on the fabric, so it kind of breaks up your design. So what I've figured out is a couple of things. That makes it so it blends a little bit better, but you can still see that there's a bra. This way, you get a full effect with it. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my product, and it comes in a little case like this. Now, I've pulled out these two, and I've actually adhered under the backside, because what we're going to do is we're actually going to take some latex, and we're going to stipple over it. What this is going to do, it's going to put a skin so that when you paint on top of it, it doesn't absorb into it, so you can get nice, detailed designs. So I open up the package, pull them off, stick them to one side, and then stick it to the other side. Now if you look close, you'll see that there's a seam, and it has a little edge on there. What I want to do is I want to hide that. So I'm going to take a product called Zombie Skin. It's like a thick latex. You can find this over at Silly Farm, or you can get it at www.zombiespaceskin.com. Pretty cool product. I'm trying it out for the first or second time now. And for what I'm doing, it works great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this product. I'm going to put a little bit into a cup. And the reason being is I don't want to work completely out of the container because then it'll start uh, airing out and drying and get a little thicker. And we want to keep it fresh. So we'll scoop a little bit out with a spatula or popsicle sticks. I've got a few of these for blending out this edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open it up. I'm going to scoop out just a little bit. Now it's better to scoop out a little bit and come back for more if you need it. This way you're not wasting product. Put it in my little cup. I've got a couple of these on the side. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit and I'm going to apply it to that edge right there. Now because this has a nice straight edge, I'm actually going to use that to just kind of fill that little edge right there smoothing it over. I'm trying to do this once or twice without having to keep going back over and over because what's going to happen, that latex is going to start to dry and then it's going to start uh, uh, catching onto it and getting like little latex balls. We want to avoid that. We want a nice, flat, smooth surface. So I'm going to scoop a little bit out and do this all the way around my piece. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a blow dryer and blow dry that edge. So this way when I come back over and stipple on top of it, I'm not picking up product or leaving indentions to where I actually applied it. So we'll skip over and that's what we have here. That edge is blended out. Now you might need to go back once, twice, maybe three times depending on how smooth you want that edge. For me I've done it about twice. I've got a nice happy edge that I'm happy with. You can see it's a little dry or a little wet in that corner. Um, you want to wait until it's completely dry and it goes from a white to a uh, glossy translucent finish. Once we have that done, we're going to take some latex. Uh, in this case, I actually have some casting latex. It's what they use to make masks. You can use any kind of latex, balloon latex. Um, Meron actually has a latex uh, you can buy in a small little bottle. And I'll probably use about half an ounce for each side. So what I'm going to do then is I'll pour a little bit out into a paper plate. I'm going to take a latex sponge. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to rip the tip off on the biggest side. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull off these little corners. Now the reason why I'm doing this is when I go to stipple on top of it, I want to make sure that I'm not leaving any square patterns. And this just gives me uh, 
an area to work with where I'm not going to get any kind of uh, pattern onto it. So I'll pour a little bit out onto a paper plate and I'll use that little area to kind of stipple and grab the latex that I need. And then I'm going to go through and I'm going to start stippling that all over. Now what this is going to do, it's going to fill up all those porous little holes so that when I paint on top of it, it doesn't absorb into the actual bra. And that's what's going to give me a nice line drawing on my body paint um, to match in with the bras. So I stipple all over that and keep going. Now you want to make sure this sponge stays um, loaded with latex. If it starts to dry up and you press it down on your piece, latex sticks to latex and it's going to grab and pull off. Now as I mentioned before about making sure that that area is completely dry because I don't want to leave any indentions onto it. And just a little bit at a time, just working your way up and keep going, keep going. And uh, you can blow dry it and then come back in and do another layer. What you want to do is you want to get all those little porous holes pretty much filled up so you have a nice skin over the whole top area. Now I have one on one side and then I'll put the other one on the other side once this is completely dry because what I don't want to do is place it on the table and actually have it stick to anything. So once this is all dry, I'm actually going to take a little bit of powder. Uh, baby powder works, translucent powder works. You just want to get it so it's not going to stick to itself. Uh, you can use a powder pad, or in this case, I have a little powder brush. Now, the reason why I mentioned of it being completely dry is you don't want to go and place your bristles onto it and have it stick or have that latex get into the, the fibers of your brush. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit. You can dust it on top of it, and then you're going to come in and just buff over the whole entire thing. Now, once that process is completely done, if you have any edges where you think you might not have might need to fill in a little bit more. You can come back in with your spatula, coat over it, blow dry it, powder it again. Once it's completely dry and you're done with it, what you're going to do is you're going to peel it off one side. Now you can see it's sticky. It's a silicone that's sticking to this side. Take your time with this. You can peel it off nice and slow. And then once you do that, you're going to flip it the other way around. Now this piece wasn't completely dry and you can see it got little lines in it and that's from peeling it up because the latex sticks to latex. Probably should have waited a little longer but I like instant gratification. So once you have this part done and your other side done, you can place them back into the holder until you need them. Um, now you don't want to put too much powder on there because if that powder gets on the other side it's not going to be as sticky. Uh, so just a little bit of baby powder while it's on that side. Place it back into the box when it's time to put them on the model. Here's a tip that I've learned from the ladies who have worn these in the past. If you place them in an angle like so on the breast, when you put it down this way, and when you go to latch the two together, it's going to do, it's going to take it and it's going to turn it up. And this is going to give uh, that bra lift and support. Then you go ahead and you can airbrush on top of it. You can hand paint on top of it. Um, it just gives a great look. So this way you don't have straps breaking up your patterns. Um, I love it. It's a great um, piece to use if you're doing competitions. Um, it just has a nice look. So it doesn't look like your model's wearing a bra. Now, when you're done with it, just ask the model to peel it off and you can save it and reuse them. I do not use them on other models. I try to keep it for the same model that I've used. Or you can give it to your model. It's a souvenir to keep, take home, put on eBay. Who knows? But... This is what I do. This is what I'll be doing for IMETS this weekend. If you're there at the show, come check me out, IMETS New York. Um, I'm going to make some more videos to share some more of this stuff with you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, hit me up, Nick's Body Art, N-I-X, Body Art at gmail.com. And uh, have fun. I hope it helps. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.